Well, there's a clock there. Well, that's <coughs> it. Um, I, I almost uh, gave up in despair um, after uh, Claire's home spoke because there were so many things to comment on. I know I'm just, I'm toast. Uh, and uh, especially since I had some comments to make at the very beginning. Um, but we'll give, we'll give it a try, and the clock is now glaring at me, so I will have the excuses I had last night. Um, I, I would um, draw your attention um, to the Lancaster Museum. Uh, there's lots of problems ethically and morally with uh, Bomber Command um, in lots of ways, but my uh, father-in-law was a navigator in Lancaster, so we stopped there last summer. There's an incredible quote from a Catholic priest about the young folk, uh, mostly men that went, um, and describes them, talks about them. And uh, the quote, uh, I, got, I got David to, we roared around here after lunch just so we could be here in time. I was sitting there writing on the back of my, my plane pass, because I didn't have any other paper, some of the words in it. Um, it, 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 it said a very, um, it said a couple things. It said, um, those who went were made by their creator to love and not to kill, which is true of all of us, but sometimes there was a necessity for that conflict, and I, and I honor that. Society stood at a crossroads. Civilization itself was under siege. Society stood at a crossroads. Civilization itself was under siege. That's in that grand inscription. And it talks about how almost the embarrassment of this young country sending its people, that all they had to bond with each other was the Maple Leaf um, uh, um, on their uniforms and that they built an identity together. And I often wonder, um, and... Um, both John Stott and a, and a sociologist from, uh, uh, from San Francisco, from Berkeley, often say that it requires 0.25% of the society to commit and covenant together to see societal change for societal change to happen. In fact, that's not accurate. As you know, the upper room had a lot less than that. So we are at a crossroads. And that was you know, articulated earlier on, you know, at the very end. That's the most problem I had with the most the first presentation, the last presentation. So not only are we at a crossroads, we're under siege. You have in South Central Alberta uh, a combination of the problems of the entire province and uh, parts of British Columbia uh, in that we, in terms, uh, have the wealthiest, um, in terms of its application to uh, the general society, the wealthiest uh, group of people distributed broadly of any other time in human history. You also had the potential from everything from Saskatchewan um, and, um, and fertilizers and oil and gas and wheat uh, right through the prairies. We, we have the potential over the next generation to be one of the wealthiest places in the world. And so we will be called out to be good stewards of that. We will be challenged as to what we have done with that. We will be provoked to have that conversation with each other. And in one of the few times that our Lord said, there are certain things that will prevent you from being with me in eternity, we will be forced to come to grips with how we've done what we've done and who we've done to with that wealth.